Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you all an update to my Yu-Gi-Oh! Trade and Sell Binder for June 2020. While well, I do an update to the binders with the release of Eternity Code, since I'll be looking for a good amount of cards from that set. I also have some for trade or sale from that new booster pack as well. So I figured an update was due since I was also finishing up all of the trade and sales from the last uh, trade and sell binder. Once again, we'll go through all six of the binders I have here. The first three will be trade and sale, and then the last three will be sale only, as always. And uh, just as long as you follow my rules and wants in the video description down below, we won't have any problems. Before we begin, I also have uh, four different uh, deck cores for sale, if anyone's interested. I can send photos to anyone who is interested in any of these uh, I have available. Uh, when you just, you know, message me on any of the contact info, I'll send the photo. I have Blue Eyes, Cyber Dragon, uh, Sky Strikers, and Crystal Beasts all available. And like I said, I can send photos of all four of the different decks available uh, just, you know, upon request to see which each one will come with. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the actual uh, binders. And we'll start with the uh, trade and sell ones. If you want to make an offer on any of the cards you see in any of the binders, you can send me a message on Facebook, Skype, Instagram, or email. But if you have a question on what any of the cards are in the actual binders, you can message me in the comments down below and I'll get back to you. But for like uh, prices or actually making an offer, make sure just to keep that to Facebook, Skype, Instagram, or email. Much more private uh, that way than using the comments where everyone can see them. If you want to purchase any of the cards you see in the binders, I can do concealed cash, uh, PayPal, Facebook cash, or cash app, whatever is easier for you. I have all the options available. And I know some people just prefer to actually you know purchase the cards than to have to wait for the trade to go through as well. A lot more faster that way as well. But uh, once again, we'll go through everything. For the first three binders, the trade and sell binders, there may be multiple cards behind some of the slots so just let me know if you need multiples of any of those cards and I'll let you know if I have more than one of that specific card but as for wants I'm mostly looking for new cards from the eternity code booster set so if you have any of those I'll definitely uh, be looking to trade for them but um, other than that there are a good amount of cards I have spread out in some of the other binders as well I try to keep the binders as organized as possible. I, the last three, the sale only binders, are organized by uh, specific cards. There are some random cards scattered throughout the first three binders, as you can see, just haven't had time to actually organize them. But other than that, we'll quickly go through them. And like I said, these first three are trade and sale. So if you want to trade for anything, you can do that. Or if you just want to purchase, it can uh, be done just as easily as well. Uh, second binder, uh, probably the most random of all three of the first ones. This is the one where I definitely move around a lot of cards, whether it be for other binders or just if I need, you know, the space for some of the other ones. But quickly go through it also. Try to keep at least some cards together that, uh, you know, are meant to go with one another as well. I got some open slots too, but just don't have as many available cards at the moment that definitely seems like i'll need to be you know purchasing another collection soon or something like that but until then sorry if there's a little glare the sun's coming in through the window as well so it might be a little difficult to see some of the cards but other than that once i can definitely you know reorganize these binders i think it'll be a lot easier just to see some of the uh specific cards also that I have in these books and every time I go through these books I always get different ideas for deck profiles as well so I definitely like keeping them around I know I trade a lot from them but just to have some cards for ideas is definitely a big help for sure the last binder here is the one still from that one collection I purchased the one time I don't like to move those cards around too much just so I can see what I've moved from that collection to people uh, for what you know I've purchased it for also so a good amount of these cards will be random as well but they're all from that one collection also I've just upgraded the binder since since the binder was kind of uh, worn out also but we'll quickly go through these pages also a couple older cards as well the dedication through light and darkness is super rare so is the uh, gear freed the Dark Magician of Chaos is Yugi's legendary decks. Uh, ultra rares on the Star Seraphs. 
But yeah, if you have a question on any of the rarities for any of the specific cards, just message me down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But if you want to make an offer on any of the cards that you see, send me a message on Facebook, Skype, Instagram, or email. Just a lot more easier that way. These are all cards from Dual Overload as well on these pages uh, mixed in. So if you want any of those, there are definitely multiples for those cards. Still got the pretty much a cubic core as well. I think there are two number 100 Numeron Dragons there also. And Pot of Dualities, Night Swarms, a couple more Dual Overload cards on these pages. And once again, just in case some people missed it at the beginning of the video, still, I've got the four deck cores here for sale as well. Blue Eyes, Cyber Dragons, Sky Strikers, and Crystal Beasts. If you're interested in any of those, just message me and I'll send you a photo of what the entire uh, cores consist of for those decks. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on the next three. We'll start with the extra deck. Uh, cores here as well so extra deck monsters and i think normal monsters are in this book so if we go through that one we got link monsters first here as well but also exceed monsters on these pages uh, all three of the break swords at the top are secret rares uh, bahamut shar Ultimate Rare Gauntlet Launcher as well. Uh, Digusto Phoenix. Uh, a couple of other Exceed Monsters. It's an Ultra Rare X Saber Hewn Lee. I've still got the four Blackwing Full Armor Masters. I've got Blackwing scattered all over. A good amount. Not enough, for, I'd say, for a deck core, but still enough for a, some of the higher rarity cards as well. Uh, these are both Ultra Rare Thunder Dragon Colossus. Secret Rare Blue Eyes Twin Bursts. Megatons for Ancient Gears, Rainbow Over Dragons, this is an Ultimate Rare, Alt uh, Gaia Pelio, Mega Fleets, some other fusions as well. These are the new Invoked uh, Ogidus, I believe is how you pronounce the name there. Uh, the new Area of the Water Charmer, Ultimate Rare Sephiros, all three are Ultra Rare for the Cybers Magicians as well. Dark Magician Support. Other rituals on these pages. These are all common, but these ones up here are supers. Uh, tokens, still got plenty of the different tokens as well. Uh, speed duel, here's all that I have left over for the speed duel cards as well on those pages. These are still my misprints with the names down lower for the dual power cards. On to the next binder, these will be all of the different effect monsters that I have. Uh, here's some of the Blackwing cards. I've got two play sets of the Chris the Crack of the Dawn, Ultimate Rare Vayu, three Ultimate Rare Breeze the Zephyr, as well as some Arrow Mages. Uh, Danger cards. Here's some of the new cards from Eternity Code as well. Uh, play set of Rose Girl. Still got the three Gizmics as well. Some other monsters also. The Blazemen are Secret Rare. Got the Millennium Eyes Illusionist playset also. Still got the Ultimate Rare Earthbound Immortals. Just the Kusalu is the first edition one there. The Ice Bells are Secret Rare. The Snow Bells are Ultra Rare. Incantation Monsters, Predaplants, Condemn Witches. Got two playsets there. Uh, Rescue Ferrets, couple Amazon cards. The Suchinoko is Ultra Rare. Once again, if you want to purchase any of the cards you see in the last three binders, since they are the sale-only binders, I can do uh, concealed cash, uh, PayPal, Facebook cash, or cash app, whatever is easier for you as well. Uh, super rare Earthbound Immortals on those pages. A couple random cards I just didn't have play sets for on the couple final pages here as well. Once again, apologize for the glare. It doesn't seem that bad, but if you can't make out any of the cards you see in the pictures, just comment down below and I will get back to you on what the specific cards are for the uh, specific locations as well in the binder. This is actually a jump slifer and this is the uh, movie promo obelisk here. So if you want to know those rarities on those cards. And all of these are foreign uh, Burning Abyss. So if you're interested in any of those, I can send more detailed pictures also. And the last binder has the spells and traps. So we got the Bingo Machines, the Rainbow Bridges, Ultra Rare Necro Valleys, and Royal Tributes. Two Frozen Rows left. 
Here's some of the new Witchcrafter and Pirate Plunder and other spell cards from the new set. Uh, revolving Switch Yards are super rare. Got three Secret Rare Polymerizations left. Uh, three Emergency Call Secret Rares also. The Overload Fusions up here are also super rare. Monster Reborns are Secret Rares from the 2019 tins. Two Overload Fusions left. The one Dark Magical Circle is Secret Rare. The one is Ultra. Some other random spells that just didn't have the play sets for them. These are common Gates of the Dark World. Ride of the Valkyrie playset. A couple other traps as well. Uh, Red Eyes Fang with Chain. And I've got some additional Sky Striker cards on these pages. The one over here with all the other deck cores is a more complete deck. These are just extra Sky Striker cards. Same with these Phantom Knights here, Trick Stars, uh, Harpies, uh, Element Sabers, and Super Quantums, and a couple other uh, Malefic cards. But once again, that is it for the binders. I hope you all enjoyed. Once again, if you want to make an offer on any of the cards you see, just send me a message on Facebook, Skype, Instagram, or email. We'll work something out. And until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and Kira Twig out.